story takes place in, in that beautiful, gorgeous place that happens right where the water meets the sky, what we call the Blue Horizon. And uh, is a wonderful story about a young girl who has an imagination who would love to be able to swim with the dolphins and soar with the birds. So she actually now goes through this beautiful journey where she meets the dolphins and she, she runs into sort of the spirit of the sea and the spirit of the sky. And uh, in doing so, it completely changes her life. And hopefully in the end, she gets a, gets a chance to do her, her dream, which is swim with the dolphins and fly with the birds. I was trying to evoke the idea that in the show, uh, there's times when, there are times in the show when we're, are we in the water or are we in the sky? And so I wanted the environment to be almost like the sky had spiraled down into the water and the wa water had spiraled back up into the sky. So in uh, trying to represent that, and there's a, an enormous uh, series of wave structures that are on the set, but they're surrealistic in their representation on stage. They're not literally a wave. And we wanted something just a little bit more abstract and more theatrical. So the idea is that even though it looks like a big wave, it's really made up, up, up for me, parts or the feathers on a bird. There's also an exaggeration, like how are we going to represent the foam of the sea? And so we wanted something that could be bubble-like. It was bubbles like it was underwater, but also like it could possibly be interpreted if you were sitting in the audience. Oh, it's a, they're, they're clouds. The whole space is ensconced by this enormous curvilinear undulating truss that wraps over the pool. And the whole purpose for the truss is twofold. One of the things I'm really pleased with about it is as you sit in the space and you look at watch the show, it kind of provides a little picture frame. But the other thing is that, it, of course, is that it's supporting all the technical side of the show to make all these fantastic things happen where we're actually getting to see people as birds. Uh, fly through the sky and do all these fantastic uh, tricks. When you look at the venue, the size of the venue, and then you look at the show and the scope of the show, how big it is, we felt that the best direction to go was to do a big symphonic score. The dolphins and the whales in and of themselves and the actions and behaviors that they do um, are big. They, they deserve to be underscored with magnificent music. We also wanted something a little unique. We didn't want something that was extremely rock or contemporary, something that was wholly identified with a certain genre of show or a certain genre of music, but it's something that was a very, you know, broad piece of music that could appeal to everybody. I believe that the the show that we're doing now, Blue Horizons, is actually an embodiment of what I believe SeaWorld is all about, which is transforming people's relationships with animals and nature. Marina is the main character of the show, so I put her in pink so that she would be really easy to spot. And it's also feminine and girlish and just instantly recognizable. Delphus and Aurora are our two secondary principal characters, and they are actually animals that come to life as human beings. The high divers and the cloud swings are also meant to be birds. The bungee jumpers are also part of the storm sequence, so we needed something kind of dark and ominous in a way without being creepy and scary. From an animal training perspective, Blue Horizons is unique in that we are not really letting the audience see our signals. We're, pro we're trying to make it look more like the animals are leading us and we're interacting with the animals. So there was a lot of training that went on too. The 
creating the much more subtle signals, creating, um, training an entirely new underwater tone system for the animals so that they come to the pool and leave the pool without the audience ever seeing um, a human being on stage. There was a lot of different perspective. There's also a huge new environment that we're in, uh, that animals have never interacted with something over the top of them. Um, there's a huge truss system that is there to support all of the other elements of the show. There are birds flying over their heads during the show. So we had to desensitize them to all of this, all of these things in their world. Blue Horizons is going to be a unique experience never seen before. This has something for everybody. If you love animals, this show is going to be for you. If you love flying and acrobatics and athletics and gymnastics, this show is for you. If you love diving, if you love, you know, water sports and that sort of thing, this show is for you. I think the best thing though too is the fact that we have a storyline that everyone can relate to from little girls to boys to moms and dads and it's really about the message that the show has that i think is really going to draw people in besides the spectacle which i think is easy to talk about besides this incredible set and the incredible music and again seeing a unique experience that you won't have seen anywhere else the fact is that you're going to see a unique story and you're going to go on an adventure and a journey and enjoy that experience with the characters that are in the show and I think you'll come out of this with uh, an emotion, a feeling, um, an excitement that you're not going to get from any other show. Ah!